Record North Sea oil revenues show UK benefiting from Scottish natural wealth. North Sea oil and gas revenues soared to record levels last year in a major boost to the Scottish economy. The annual Government Expenditure and Revenue Scotland GERS, report found energy sector receipts were up by £6.9 billion. The country continues to spend more on public services than it raises in revenues but the gap has shrunk over the last 12 months. The GERS report found the spending deficit dropped from £23.7 billion to £19 billion. Travel warning as Ryanair EasyJet and Bar 64 Decibels 81 FFE 3220633143156 F0 August 16-2023-105728. It means Scotland has a spending deficit of 9%, compared to 5% for the UK as a whole. Neil Gray, the Wellbeing Economy Secretary, said the GERS report did not reflect the full benefits of the green economy. The SNP minister insisted it showed how the UK benefited from Scotland's natural resources. Alistair Jack, the Scottish Secretary, claimed the report was proof of how Scots benefited hugely from being part of a strong United Kingdom. Promoted Stories Public spending north of the border amounted to £106.6 billion in 2022-23 up by £9.3 billion on the previous year. The amount raised in taxes also rose to an estimated £87.5 billion, including a record £9.4 billion in North Sea revenues. This increased from £2.4 billion in 2022-22 following the introduction of the UK government's energy profits levy a windfall tax on the oil and gas industry. Experts at the Institute for Fiscal Studies said the deficit in Scotland remained substantially higher than that of the UK as whole. Associate Director David Phillips said, in contrast to the situation for the UK as a whole, the surge in oil, and especially gas, prices last year led to an improvement in Scotland's fiscal position. However, Scotland's notional fiscal deficit remained substantially higher than that of the UK as a whole 9.0% of GDP compared to 5.2%. The gap is set to widen again from next year if oil and gas prices fall back as forecast. Gray said, while the record revenues from the North Sea show the extent that the UK continues to benefit from Scotland's natural wealth, these statistics do not reflect the full benefits of the green economy with hundreds of millions of pounds in revenue not yet captured. It is important to remember that GERS reflects the current constitutional position, with 41% of public expenditure and 64% of tax revenue the responsibility of the UK government. Indeed, a full £1 billion of our deficit is the direct result of the UK government's mismanagement of the public finances. An independent Scotland would have the powers to make different choices, with different budgetary results, to best serve Scotland's interests. While we are bound to the UK's economic model and do not hold all the financial levers needed, we will continue to use all the powers we do have to grow a green well-being economy, while making the case that we need independence to enable Scotland to match the economic success of our European neighbours. Scottish Labour finance spokesperson Michael Mara claimed the latest GERS figures exposed SNP plans for independence as little more than a charter for austerity. He added, with Scots individually benefiting to the tune of some £2,217 from higher spending in Scotland despite the larger negative balance in Scotland's public finances, the potential harsh financial cost of leaving the union is laid bare for all to see. It is Hamza Yousaf's duty to explain exactly what he would cut, when and how deeply to make up this huge deficit in his independence plans. Our NHS is in permanent crisis, public services are at breaking point and economic growth is non-existent. The fact is that the SNP's plans for independence will mean cuts to the services upon which we all rely leading to poorer services and quality of life for millions of Scots. Jack said, the Scottish Government's own figures show yet again how people in Scotland benefit hugely from being part of a strong United Kingdom. Scotland's deficit is more than £19 billion even in a year of exceptional North Sea revenues. Without oil and gas, that figure soars to more than £28 billion. To sign up to the Daily Record Politics newsletter, click here.